All right, so you wanna know from an automation expert what I think about the Tesla robot. So I've been doing automation robotics for over a decade now, and this thing is game changing. And also one other thing that I'd like to point out is our slogan for our company is freeing humans one robot at a time. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Freeing humans one robot at a time. So what does that mean for us? You know, it, it's kind of a little pun on, on, on what we do as a company, right? We implement robots into automated manufacturing systems or we build the automated manufacturing system. But, you know, we're essentially, let's say, replacing that person. A lot of robotics companies don't want to say that, right? They don't want to say we're replacing this human for a robot. However, that's the reality of the situation. The next thing is is that this should be a movement towards humanity, right? We, this should be a movement where we are actually freeing humans, right? Not just taking away their job and now they're unemployed, but how can we shift humanity to have a lifestyle that's, that's let's say, more more rewarding, more enjoyable, like let's give back the time to be with our kids and our families. That's really what the meaning of this is about, right? It's kind of a, it plays on both things, right? But it really is a drive and a vision to create a freedom for humans. And this Tesla robot is like next level. It's one of the reasons why I'm still in the automation sector, a good sector to be in anyway. But the, you know, one of the primary reasons is because we're working with the technologies that go into something like this Tesla robot. So since, you know, we're working with these type of technologies, we, we have an understanding understanding of them. And to be honest, it's something that I have, you know, inspired to try to do as a company at some point. But you know, that's for me, this is like some decade long goal. Tesla beat us to it, obviously. So Tesla, reach out if you want us to do like any review on the robot or somehow we can work with you guys because I, I really like this frontier. I think it's like the next thing for humanity. I feel like we need more robotics and more capable robotics in the world for to, to be able to free humans, right? For us to have actual freedom because, you know, the thing is we all have demands. We all have, de you know, desires and we, we have have to go to work to pay for those things right however the cost of those products can be reduced majorly if there's robotics doing the job and the investment for the employer you know employers are paying you know 40 plus thousand dollars a year to each employee in, in a company and a company with thousands of employees just imagine that cost whereas if they can spend one forty thousand dollars one time for a tesla robot or something like that it'll be completely game changer right so you know one of the things that is such a game changer about the humanoid robot is that it has the ability to have dexterity right so so most traditional robots are like a six axis robot where it's it kind of just has some manipulative movement, but you, you only have X, X, Y, Z motion. You only have yaw pitch roll motion, right? And then there's other robots like spiders and scare robots, which have other limited motion or have other limitations to their motions, but have other advantages such as speed. Now, I think that there will be one challenge with this robot where it, it doesn't have the speed that a traditional robot will have, and it also won't have the payload that a traditional robot will have. Uh, but definitely hit subscribe for like more of these type of videos because this is just like a general my initial thoughts on the robot and we're going to be coming out with a whole playlist on the tesla robot and and diving deeper into the technology of the robot but you know i really just wanted to kind of give my first general thoughts this is going to free, this is going to change the world it's going to have the ability to work in manufacturing settings you know that's the first thing that comes to my mind because that's the space that i'm in but it's going to be in home right it's going to be able to have the capability with with you know smart things internet of things it's going to have the capability to get a notification from your washer and your washer is going to send uh, a notification to the tesla robot saying laundry done the robot's then going to go be able to, to transfer the laundry from the washer to the dryer and it's going to be able to communicate with all different things coffee is done right dishwasher is done right and and so these other smart devices will be able to communicate with it to be able to help out in the household let's say for instance it, it starts cooking for you right you know the or poor pours you milk. Let's go with this example, it's much easier. It pours you milk. You know, it can pour you a cup of milk and it can calculate that it poured you a cup of milk and it can order that off of Amazon, right? Like it, it can be paired up with other apps that it's just gonna go way beyond like just the physical capabilities of what this robot can do. And I'm gonna go into some other topics as far as like why Tesla has the advantage, why I think Tesla's gonna beat the market in this. I think they're truly gonna dominate this market. So definitely stay tuned and, and subscribe because I think some of the things that I'm gonna call out about Tesla. I've also been following Tesla for almost 10 years now. I used to actually invest in Tesla. Fun fact is a little bit of like, the, I'll say the seed money it wasn't a lot of money, but that was used to start Elite Automation, our company, uh, was actually from investing in Tesla. So back in the early days and the early stages of Tesla, when everybody was kind of like bashing Tesla, Tesla's gonna fail, every, every other new news article was ha about how Tesla was going to fail. Or I've had faith in this company for a long time because I've seen what they were doing. I've seen what they were doing full, full self-driving, uh, battery technology, and, and also being from like this sector where a, like a lot of those things are relative to what we do in our industry, right? It's just in a different package. So when we build a piece of automated machinery for a manufacturer, it's very similar type of technology. 
you know, it's just a different form factor, right? So, you know, I also have a very good general understanding of, of what the other technologies Tesla has and how they're going to be able to implement that in the robot and just having a general knowledge on the technologies themselves. So subscribe, follow that playlist once it's created. It should be created by the time this video comes out and there'll be multiple videos following up. And then we're going to continue to follow the Tesla robot over time because I feel it's such a hot topic. It's something that we need to stay on top of as a company because honestly, it's going to disrupt our company. There's going to be a lot of spots where it can't touch and affect uh, our company, and especially for some period of time. And we'll get into that in another video but you know this is an important topic for everybody to to follow and and stay in tune with uh same with like ai and whatnot but this is a, a physical version of ai and, and i feel like they're one of the most advanced companies whenever it comes to being able to actually execute this catch y'all in the next one